What's up YouTube, Cornish Ratbeard here and today I'm very excited to say that we are starting a new series of Star Trek New Horizons. This time we're going to be using the Klingons as our instruments of doom and cause absolute havoc on the galaxy. You know what they say, it's a good day to die. So I'm going to be running this series alongside our United Federation of Planets playthrough, but I really couldn't resist but to start what's going to be a blast. So um, so let's pick our race and uh, let's get started. Kapla. So here we are at our pick a race screen. So in my opinion, the Klingons have got some pretty decent stats actually. I mean, the High Council, that's a pretty cool mechanic, but straight away we can see it minuses, it's a 20% edict cost minus so that's pretty big i mean 20 percent. that's pretty juicy warriors of Kalis. again looking down at our green number we're seeing that the um the naval capacity cost of all klingon military ships are minus by 10 percent it's a big one again great houses that gives us uh less war exhaustion claim influence cost is less our ship fire rate is more the um, administrative capacity is plus 10, so that's going to help us grow a large empire. We're going to go quite wide with um, this playthrough, I think. We're just going to cause havoc where we can. Um, so we're militarists, and that again, I'm not sure, I think all this must stack, because that is another 10% um, cost cut on the influence, on the claim influence. Um, and our ship fire rate again, plus 10 spiritualists. A monthly unity is up by 10%. Edict cost is another minus five. And authoritarians. So, I mean, with the bosses, right? We want to boss the place. So monthly influence is plus 0.50. That is pretty huge. That's going to help out a lot, you know, when we start snapping up all those um, claims because they cost quite a bit of influence when you start getting going. And our worker pop resource output is plus five. We've got trained warriors, so we're going to be kicking butt down there when we take those planets away from other people. And we've got army morale is up as well, another 10%. Communals. <clears throat> so, I mean, they, they don't mind living close together, so we can really squeeze people in on our planets. And, of course, they're stubborn, which does give us one negative but out of all of that can we really say that's not too bad i mean we're research well you know we're going to be we're going to be smashing other empires so let's hope we don't really need to worry too much about the research it's only society anyway so not too bad um so you know it reckons it's an easy difficulty but it's never easy when it comes down to grand admiral we have got it all stacked up Let's select those and move on to the next screen. So here we are. We want to be using these settings. I haven't had to change them. This is the ones I like to use. We've got the Milky Way Galaxy. Um, habitable worlds, we like to keep them at two because just a few more worlds to colonize is always better. Grand Admiral, hardest difficulty as always. Scaling difficulty, we're gonna have that on. We want to make sure it's tough all the way throughout. AI aggressive, aggressiveness, we're going to stick with normal on that one, I always do. And um, that's pretty much all you need to see on that, just to show you that it's going to be difficult. So if we get our butts handed to us, you know why. We have got a couple of DLCs which are live. So I'm going to go ahead and play and I'll meet you at the main screen. Okay, here we are. Let's get ready to take the galaxy. So, um... Let's read a bit of this out. With fire and steel did the gods forge the Klingon heart. So fiercely did it beat. So loud was the sound that the gods cried out. On this day, we have brought forth the strongest heart in all the heavens. None can stand before it without trembling at its strength. The Klingon Empire, led by the illustrious example of Kalis the Unforgettable, stands stronger than ever before. We control numerous worlds and many more worlds await our glorious armies. How many worthy foes are out there for our warriors to battle? Under the leadership of our Chancellor and the High Council, we shall find out. May you bring glory to your house and to the Empire. Kapla! A Klingon's honour means more to him than his life. 
Kern of the House of Moog. That's, what, that's who said that. Brilliant stuff. All right. I'm not going to be reading much out, but I thought we'd just read that out anyway because it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool opener. All right, what we got here, we're going to be going... We, we understand the flagship system has been overhauled. I'm pretty sure I haven't played as Klingons in the um, in this patch anyway, so I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, recommended default 100% of Empires, of course. All right, guys, so let's get this party started. You have to forgive my um, my Klingon voice there. It wasn't particularly great, but hey, it's all a bit of a laugh. So what we got going on? So I'm going to um, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go into the galaxy view to start with. And let's have a little look, just, just take it in for a minute. I'm having a look at some of the different systems here to see what we've got, what we can snap up. It's looking pretty good. I see that we've got some Duranium plates here. That's going to help out our star bases. They're going to be a big thing again in this playthrough. I am going to go on the offensive, but we will need some pretty strong star bases. Also, some Magnesite as well. Okay. And some Topoline. So, um... Before I start spending anything, let's have a look at our capital. Quonos, or Quonos, however you like to pronounce it. I think both are, are correct, I, I assume. Quonos, Quonos. Uh, we, have to, we do have an alloy foundry, but I like to get a second one in as soon as possible. So I am just taking in quite a few of these different buildings and what they do for a moment couple of farms all right any decisions to be made here forced labor camps all right okay so they're going to help us out quite a lot so when we get low on the alloys it's looking like it reduces crime increasing alloy and mineral production and increasing stability but at the cost of minus 20 planetary happiness well that's gonna be quite handy isn't it really Oh, straight away I'm seeing we've got minus six on the housing and the amenities. So, I guess we could try to sort that out with an entertainment centre. Um, yes, I guess we better do that. Because that's going to cost us our minerals, right? Correct. Um, okay, we've got a penile colony. A prison complex right there. They don't have the best of amenities. Should they have good amenities? I don't know. I suppose, you know, they should do because there are guards there, right? And they're going to need to have amenities. Um, slums. That gives us plus 10 crime as well. So policing, a policing system wouldn't go amiss here, would it? So what can we add to this place? I mean, I don't really have the minerals, but again, an entertainment system, a frontier hospital is always a good one, regardless of what race you're playing. I think that will really help out. And a policing system. So, I'm thinking those three buildings, just planning ahead here. Uh, a spiritual retreat. Okay, so we've already got specialised planets then with the Klingons. With the Federation, you kind of have to discover that technology. We don't have much going on here, but we have a monastery. The Bereth Monastery, I guess. Uh, the Klingon Monastery at Bereth is central to the Klingon faith and legend of Kalis the Unforgettable. It is promised that Kalis will return here from Stovacor. Okay, fair enough. So what sort of buildings are we looking like here? We're looking pretty good. We've got a bit of crime. So again, a policing system, frontier hotel, uh, hospital, you know, these sort of buildings here. And that's just a fledging colony, so something we can use to, for, you know, maybe our food or something. But that's okay, so let's hit some of the research up now. Um, command station, Harden Fields. Ooh, uh, defensive force fields. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with the Orbital Museum straight away. Let's start trying to get some of that juicy, juicy unity. And... We could start exploiting that research. We do have that, don't we? Yeah, we do. So I guess it would make sense. And we can get that on board straight away. So that's pretty good. A science ship. Speaking of science ship, can we build another one? Oh, look, guys. So this is the Klingon UI. It's pretty cool, isn't it? 
I did download that earlier prior to starting this series but as i said we are continuing with the united federation of planets one so i have to keep switching those out but no problem so i want to get a science ship how much i want to you so we'll be able to get you in just a second so before i push play i am going to send him off do we want to go check out the sauna maybe and head up towards the federation or should we head to our right maybe and yeah, I'm going to head to the right, first of all, because there's lots of action happening over that way, but I can't remember who it is over this way, but we will have a look. So let's just head straight to that place and survey it. Construction ship. Um, well, pop straight next door, I guess, to this system, build, build that. And I think, what have we got? A relic. It's, uh, wow, okay. So there's lots of relics going on straight away. Army morale, defensive health, uh, assault army, defense army, assault army damage. Okay, so we've already got a lot of relics which help us out while we're fighting on the ground by the look of it. So let's keep that in mind. That's going to be a nice buff. There's our transport fleet. He's going to be very handy. We're going to have to add to that. We have our first fleet here. We need to assign a leader. I won't do that yet. So I think we're good to go. So let's go on normal speed for now and let's see what happens then. Let's just get rid of that. All right, the Klingon Great Houses. Okay, the Klingon Empire has always been led by a powerful house, but every so often a new house reaches the level of greatness and worthy of a position at the top of Klingon society. The House of Merek has battled their way to the top and are ready to make their mark within the Klingon Empire. Understood. Okay, so I would like the extra challenge. Um, I just... I, I like the extra challenge, so I'm going to do that. I mean, we might get, you know, wiped all over the place, but we'll see. Uh, I don't really need to take, I think, the Great Houses. We're going to go, at, you know, see how it goes. We're going to play it and... Just see what happens with the Great Houses, the High Council. So... Did we really have to start off like that? On you go, please. First contact. We share the same divine heritage. We will fight for our right to exist. Our sacred arms shall not waver. Um, the Metron Consortium. Okay. I think these guys are really tough. They're like a, just one single race. But when I remember seeing them, they had a crazy amount of firepower. So, so let's share the same divine heritage for these guys. We're not going to be pondering on it too much. Here they are. So look, they're completely overwhelming in all aspects. And I mean full on. So we'll leave them alone. So off go our science ship and our construction ship. We do want another science ship, I think, if I'm honest. Let's just get out there a little bit. Kind of start off the way that I would do on a Federation playthrough. Just nice and easy. Ease on in. But we do have quite a lot more to do, considering we only had the one system in that one. We've got quite a few systems here, haven't we? Um, I'm waiting for some more minerals, and then we can go ahead and start looking at maybe a, yes, an entertainment centre. We've got to keep the guards happy, right? That is one thing we do have to do. So it's 100% crime here, but immigration pool is 33%. Um, so crime is minus 25, and also there's crime at plus 100. Okay, fair enough. Energy credits from here. Okay, so we could get... Really, we want to turn this into our own little Mars, don't we? We want to have industry quite high. Um, so we want to build, like, mining networks and fusion reactors here. And maybe alloy foundries? Not too sure. But that is one thing I do want as well, is an alloy foundry. Oh, it's kind of leveled itself out now, so we don't need to worry too much about the housing aspect of it. A policing system would be good. I see our crime is quite high, but I, I really want the alloy foundry, but we do need quite a lot of the minerals, which we'll get. 
So let's just wait for those to build up a minute. So let's just speed it up to fast and see what happens. It's going to be some great battles with the Klingon Empire in, in this playthrough. Well, like I said, we're going to make a push, but we're not going to be silly about it. We're going to make sure we've got decent armies and stuff. But what I like about it is we can start the wars now. You know, we don't have to wait for a defensive war, or which is fine. But we get to pick what territory we want. So it's going to be fun. I Do you think we should have some decent Federation wars? I think we should. Um, okay, cool. Construction complete. It's all a different UI, so it's all a little bit different. I, I am quite a heavy player on the Federation. Archaeological site discovered. Okay, cool, cool. We'll wait till... We'll wait a while. We'll get that into our territory, though, and then we will dig that up. We have another science ship, I believe. We do, so let's... Let's buy another scientist. Anomaly discovery chance could be the way to go. Yeah. Let's recruit him. Her. I will be right with you on that. Let me just pause it a second. Right, so where do we want to go with this one? I don't know if these guys expand much. So really, we want to be hitting it up around these areas. But then again, if they did take these systems, I would never take them back. So that's what makes me believe that they don't. So I'm pretty safe there. So I'm going to head out this way and survey the system there. All right, so we have our Heritage Museum. So I want to put that straight onto our star base in a moment. Diplomacy or slavery. We're going to go down. I don't know which one. Probably the slavery, aren't we? So let's do that and see what happens. Yeah, we know we've discovered that. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to go to our... Starbase and put on how do I do it here? Orbital Museum. Straight away, even if we don't have it for long. I just want to start gaining some unity, some extra unity. It's gonna be very, very helpful for us to have that unity. Okay, we're looking good. Let's get an alloy foundation foundry foundry, yep. Yeah. Where do we want it though? Do we want it in Quonos? What else can we have, just in case we need that? We do want to have room for a leasing system, but, you know, for now, let's get that. Let's really start bumping those alloys up. And let's carry on. I didn't push play there, forgive me. Construction ship. Okay, so you've got the stuff you need there. Let's go down here. Well, let's move there anyway, and we can get ready to get that when we get our minerals up. Started off quite healthy with the amount of stuff we're getting here. It's not too bad. Could be better on the alloys, which it will be. Um, these, if anything, I want to be allies. Well, we can't really be allies, can we? Can't really do much with them, look. It's going to be a long time before we can take them on, though. Look, they're just nuts. I think are these guys like the, they're like the Qs. You know, with the consortium? Q consortium? I don't know, but they're powerful. Okay, so we're evading hostile fleets. The science ship. Oh, we'll make sure we do that. So we've got an encounter. And we're missing an action ship. So that was there. The High Council. So, okay. Can we arrange something here? No. Promote. No, okay, let's just see what we can do. We don't need to mediate a few, do we? Okay, so I can summon that. But I want to go back. What was that I even did? Contribute. No, we don't need to do it yet. We don't really need to do much yet. We've literally just started out. So, let me see if there's anything in here. Investigate the aliens. Yes, let's do that because we still get our influence. So where does our science ship pop up then? What do we have here? Our own fleets. That's a trans. That's a transport fleet. That's our normal fleet. 
Okay, we've got a few more minerals now, so let's build the mining stations and the research. That's fine. Right, so you guys, you do have an entertainment system. Maybe a Frontier ho Hospital. I keep trying to call it a hotel, I don't know why. How much does the policing system cost? But it is amenities we need. So let's get on top of that. That Frontier Hospital will do the job. Right, science ship, you've popped back up, so... Okay, you're a 3k. Well, we know now, don't we? So you've popped up over there, so let's... Um, can we go straight to that system? No, we cannot. Can we go back there? Yeah. Go straight to that one there. Don't go back there. You end up getting yourselves killed. And we're not ready for that yet. We don't want to use up valuable resources. I mean, in the market, I could, couldn't I? I could sell some stuff straight away. There we go. Straight away, we've got a tradition. That's because we've got that heritage museum. So I'm not sure. Maybe the glory. Let's have a look what they do. Adopting the first stage of the glory tradition improves anomaly research speed. Could be good straight away. Finishing it increases governing ethics attraction by 20%. Um, let me pause. Let me pause. We got to think about this because when we when we do it, the first one we do, we're going to commit, right? Uh, adopting the first stage on a tradition reduces the pop um, strength. Adopting the first stage increases army morale. Hmm. Do we want to go to war straight away? Domination. Uh, no. Frontier could be a good one. Increases the colony development. Uh, we've already got quite a few colonies. It'd be silly, wouldn't it? Um, star base capacity. Diplomacy. I think glory. Yeah. Let's do it. System surveyed. Great stuff. So that's you. So let's move on and survey you. And then survey you. Oh, okay, so that's been built now, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it even quicker. Okay, so we've already encountered pirates. No, it must be those or something. Right, okay, technology researched. The hardened fields are done. Let's go with the optical computer. Yep, thank you for that survey. Uh, how are we looking? So we can upgrade... Upgrade the fleet. Yeah, why not? Okay, yeah, we know about that. About the Klingon houses. Well, we don't really know much, but... We just have to take it as it comes. Um, so we've got the Frontier Hospital and the Entertainment System, but they're still not the happiest bunch, are they? Maybe that does help, the Chamber of Heroes. That will help. And it isn't too much, either. What's the upkeep on it? It's only one energy and we've got 60. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can always swap things out. First fleet's been upgraded. We have some more research done. Ah, okay, we can get the, um, the topoline now. Um, we'll go with the operation station and all that good stuff. Right. How am I doing on my minerals? Not bad. What about all my alloys? Have we built that? Yeah, we do. We do have two, and we're on plus 13. Would like that to considerably be more. Okay, what do we have here? We have a breakthrough. Can you provide with more information? Okay. Oh, okay, so this is slave labor. I think we're going to go with the slave labour. Yep, even at the expense of future relations and comrades. This option can't be selected. I mean, that's something the Cardassians would do, wouldn't it? But I think they... Do they have... I don't know if they have slave labour camps, the Klingons as such. That's, that is more Cardassian, Romulan sort of thing, isn't it? I think the Klingons... Do they take prisoners? And then they... You know, they use the prisoners. Is that slave labour? Or is that just labour, you know, with the prisoners? I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, let's go with the slave labor, I think, then. Research. Yeah. Why not? We're not too worried about diplomacy, are we? They're not going to like us much, but that don't matter. Right, science station. Engineering station. Yep, let's go with that. Let's make it interesting. Let's not do the same old thing. Right, how are we doing here? We're doing we're doing well. Uh, it's a routine difficulty, so go ahead and research that and get yourself a bit of experience. So at the spiritual retreat here, I'm going to go ahead and get a frontier hospital so then we can let this planet grow. Always, always handy. And the same with you. All right. Um, okay. So we need to basically survey more worlds yes that is that one isn't it yeah survey out of zero out of eight and we will do that we'll keep an eye on things construction ship how are you doing you go ahead and get that um topoline on board that'd be lovely jubbly once he's done that we're moving on somewhere else okay so we've used up a few more minerals alloys how much oh let's have a look at our fleet okay an asteroid for some reason someone has towed an asteroid into stable orbit around Halley 2 right well that's interesting I guess we'll see what comes of that here's our first fleet hasn't got a leader just yet fleet manager that's the one I'm looking for add a ship so we can only have bird rays that's no problem we will just have a couple more of those Oh, we can have a lot more of those. I mean, we haven't got any other ships right now, so let's go with 10. It's going to take us well over our um, naval capacity. Well, it might not. I don't know. But we'll see how we get on with that. So, let's reinforce the fleet. Anomaly detected. Routine. Yep, go ahead and research that, please. So, it looks like we're doing okay with our planets now. Everything seems to be... We don't have any alerts, anyway. Uh, discontent has been growing among the crew. Okay, so the challenge is accepted. They want to have a fight, you go for it. Your Klingons, I ain't going to stop you. So, um, this looks like the captain wounded. Just Kapla. And we seem to have gained. So, we've got a new trait as well. Gained a bit of influence there as well. System survey complete. But you're in. You are investigating something, aren't you? What about you? Oh, is it you? Okay, that's a decent system, actually. Can we come across here now and, and do that one? Have you finished? You have finished. So let's go on over and get all of that on board. And again, we've already got another tradition. That's definitely helping out that Heritage Museum, isn't it? What do we have here, then? Tensions between the House of Kang and the House of Marach have escalated following an accusation that a Sutai in the service of the House of Merak has used the threat of rent increases to intimidate a number of shipyard workers pledged to the House of Kang in an area of Quonos where the Sutai own several buildings. Well, houses can defend their own honour. Minus 100 on that. Let's keep them sweet. Let's minus... I don't need the influence just yet. So let's just keep them sweet. Let's pause it for a second. Let's hit up a tradition. Right, so the science ship disengaged chance is increased by 50% or the leader cap. Hmm, what does it lead to? Increases leader experience. That's not bad, by 33%. Increased survey speed. It's got to be that, isn't it? Let's go with that to get to the increased survey speed and get it done quick. And let's do our technology. Science station, engineering station, perfect. Regional capital, leader cost. Let's go leader cost minus 20, because we're going to be getting quite a lot of leaders now. So that's a really good one to hit up straight away early on. It doesn't really make much difference if you leave it go, but if you get it now, it means something. Right, so I'm going to call that episode there, guys. And I will be rolling into the next one very soon. 
So we started a new playthrough. We are the Klingons and we are going to conquer this galaxy as much of it as we can. Again, we're going to, you know, we're going to strive for as much red. That's our color, right? As much red as we can get on the map, on the galaxy. And when we are satisfied with that, we will call it a day. But it's going to be a good wild fight. So I hope you like that and I hope you want to see more. If you do, then drop me a like, drop me a comment, maybe subscribe for some more action. Again, we'll be running alongside the Federation. So... If you are watching that series, it will be continuing. I'm going to be dropping one of these videos and one of the federations and so on. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye for now.